Today we will have a look at Roland's Vintage Synth expansion board and see how it performs in the JV880 and in the XV5080. I actually already own a Roland XV5080 with the vintage card in its SRX version and all the original patches uploaded. So actually I have all the vintage card contents already. But then I came across the JV880 and I just had to try it out because I wanted to see if the vintage card reacts any differently in this machine. So this video is going to be about an A to B comparison between these two machines and what these patches sound like. I have installed the vintage synth card in the JV880. Uh, unfortunately, the patches are not directly accessible. They first have to be copied into the machine's RAM. You see here I'm scrolling through the bank I, which is the internal bank, which has 64 slots. So it means we can only have at the same time access to 64 different sounds from the card. If you have a RAM card, you get 64 additional slots in memory. I will switch now to C. You will see that we get to the card and that's 64 additional slots. So internal plus card slots are in total 128 and that's of course still less than what's on the card itself because the vintage expansion card has 255 patches so you basically need to scroll through and pick the best ones. Luckily there is a way to pre-listen to the sounds of the expansion board without having to copy everything first and this option is hidden in the utility menu that you use to copy these sounds. So you press on utility then you select the menu entry which says load patch single and then you have to move the cursor to the line of the source which is exp and then the number so we're here at patch number seven right now in the copying menu so i will just go with the cursor underneath the patch number of the expansion card which is now 007 and now we can use the dial to scroll through the numbers and with that we can actually pre-listen to what's on the card. Unfortunately there is no patch names in this display so you can only go by numbers, you need an external list, but that's an easy way to try to find the best sounds that you want to save for uh, later use. But now let's go and let's see if you can spot any difference between these two machines, the JV880 and the XV5080, running exactly the same expansion card with the same patches. And if you want to make a blind test, just don't look at the screen. I will show on the screen which machine is playing. The same thing will be played by both machines in a sequence. Uh, I have tried to match the volumes as much as possible and I have not disabled the effects, so all of the patches are played with their original preset effects. Here we go.
So, what is the final verdict? I think these two machines sound extremely similar with the vintage synth card, and I don't think that any one of the two is superior to the other. They do have some differences in effects, but bottom line, especially in a mix, nobody's going to be able to tell the difference, and both of them feel very nicely hands-on. You really feel the sounds coming alive when you play them. So I think um, it's probably not worth getting additionally a JV880 if you already have an XV5080. But on the other hand, if you're looking for a cheap host for your expansion cards, then the JV880 is actually quite a good deal, because it comes for around 100 euro used at the time. And there is really not much choice in that price range. The only one that comes to mind is the Roland JV1010, which is basically the smaller brother of the 1080, but it does not come with a full-fledged front display, front panel display. The editability is somewhat limited, you have to go via software, and also it's not directly rack mountable. But it comes at a similar price and it already has one expansion card built in. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please leave a comment. Uh, if it wasn't, also please leave a comment. And I hope to catch you soon again on this channel. Thank you very much and goodbye.